When you're writing systems in Python or any language for that matter, you often need synthetic data to test with. And you might think, well, I can just create test data as I need it. But if you're performance testing, you might need many hundreds of thousands of records. Creating that manually is really, really problematic. What I'm going to show you now is a package or library in Python that lets you generate synthetic data really easily. Let's go right to it. What we're going to do here is write a program to generate test data. And we're going to use the library Faker to do it. Now, Faker isn't part of the standard library. So if we want to use it, we've got to install it. The easiest way to do that is if we go to Terminal in PyCharm, you'll see here it's picked my virtual env already. And I'm just going to do pip install Faker with a capital F. Let that run and it should install Faker. OK, now we can actually use Faker. And the way we do that is we can just do from Faker import Faker. And then we're just going to create a data generator. So we just do data gen equals faker. And because I'm in the UK, we're going to use the locale en UK. If you want test data in your native language, just find your country code and pass it into faker. I think the default is US if you don't specify one. You can also pass in a list of these if you want data for multiple regions. So to actually use the library, we can then just use our variable data gen and we're going to do name and we'll just wrap that in a print. Now, when I run this, you'll see it creates a different name each time. We can also generate an address. So you can see there it's generated an address and then a different one. And we can even generate a date of birth by calling passport dob. And there you go. You got the year, month, day. How do you work out what the methods are for Faker? Well, there is a Faker documentation site. And if we just throw that up and we can just type Faker Python and it bring up the documentation. If you scroll right down to the bottom to standard providers, these are all the providers that Faker has to generate data. So you'll see Faker providers passport. Here is our passport date of birth. We can also generate passport numbers. And these are the rough formats you're going to get when you generate them. And there's multiple providers that we can use in the standards providers list. So there's network, which is under fakerproviders.internet. And you can generate email addresses. We can generate MAC addresses. We can generate all kinds of stuff just based upon these providers. Because the providers are part of the standard library, we don't need to do anything to actually call their methods. So as long as we can go in there, find out what the method is, we can then use it. Now, it's also important to note that if you're generating very specific test data for your use case, you can write your own providers and then install them. That's pretty advanced and outside of the scope of this video. For normal use, I've never had to actually generate my own provider. Just know that you can do it by writing classes and plugging them in. OK, so back to PyCharm and we want to generate a test file. And let's say in our test file, we want a name, a date of birth and a phone number. So how can we generate that? Well, we're going to want to generate a string, and each string will make up the line of our file. So if we create a temprec variable, and this is going to be an f string, and we're going to have three variables in it, and this is going to be a fixed width file. So we'll just do a new line at the end. In the first variable, we're going to do data gen dot name. Second, we're going to do data gen dot phone number, and in the last one, we're going to do data gen dot passport. Date of birth. Let's just put our brackets on the end of these as they are all method calls. And then we're going to set a formatting directive at the end just to format these. We're going to left justify to 25, do this to 25, and we'll do this to 10 because it's a date. Now, I've had some issues before using passport day B. I think it creates a date object. So we're going to cast it as a string to make sure it saves in our file correctly. And then if we change this to temp rec, and I've done this right, we should see a record generated. And if we generate another, yeah. So now what we need to do is actually put this in a file. So we're going to do with open test dat dot txt, and we'll open it for write as f. And then however many records we want. So I want for placeholder in range. Let's do two hundred thousand. For each of those, we're going to generate a temp record, and then we're going to write that temp record to the file. So f dot write temp rec. So if we now run this, and it took a little while to complete, but if we now open our text file, and you'll see that we now have a data file with two hundred thousand records in it that we can then start using in our programs.
So this is really with Faker, how we can generate large data sets of data that we can then use in future programs. We can either import into databases or access the file directly. If you are new to Python, then I have a beginner series. You can find the first video in the series right here, top left. And with that, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one.